Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, today is St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green to celebrate. And I don't think I'm Irish, but I like to celebrate these days anyway. So tonight's story is about St. Patrick's Day. Here it is, St. Patrick's Day by Carmen Bredson. And this book was copyright in 2003. Here we go. Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. On this day, people celebrate Ireland and the Irish people. Ireland is an island. I live in an island. Near Great Britain, an island has water on all sides. St. Patrick was a Catholic priest. He went to Ireland in the year 400. He taught the people about the Catholic religion. He helped build many churches. Some say that St. Patrick used a three-leaf clover to teach about his religion. A three-leaf clover is also called a shamrock. Many people say that a shamrock with four leaves is good luck. The Catholic Church named Patrick a saint after he died. A saint is a spirit that is believed to protect and help people. More than 600 churches in Ireland are named after him. Just a side note, that must be confusing if you're looking for one St. Patrick's Church and go to the wrong one. I'm sorry, back to the story. Ireland is called the Emerald Isle. Emeralds are green gemstones. Ireland is called the Emerald Isle because the green, oh, sorry, Ireland is called the Emerald Isle because the countryside is so green with plant life. People wear green on St. Patrick's Day to honor St. Patrick and Ireland. The national color of Ireland is green. There are parades and parties around the world to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. In Chicago, Illinois, the Chicago River is dyed green. Some people wave the Irish flag. Everyone is wearing green. This girl has shamrocks painted on her face. Some people play bagpipes. I know for me, if I played bagpipes, it wouldn't be very well. But I do know some people that play bagpipes and they do a good job. Bagpipes are often used in Irish music. Ah. Something else I don't do well. Dancers do an Irish jig. Ah, oh, this is something I do well. Sometimes the party food is green. How would you like to eat green cookies? You do not have to be Irish to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Anyone can join in the fun. All right, here's some words that are in this story. Words you know. Bagpipes, emerald, Ireland, Irish flag, parade, St. Patrick, shamrock. The end. Well, once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. And thanks for joining me. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. 
I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.